Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here, bringing us another episode of the New York Islanders GM Mode Commentaries. That is right guys, so we're back at the GM Mode. We're at the free agency. Look at that free agency, boys. Jesus, man. Patty Kane hits. That's so unrealistic, though. My goodness. Uh, I'm Sakara. It's a pretty deep free agent pool, and we're going to be making some huge moves in this video, guys, all right? So... I'm prepared to make some shakeups to the roster. You're going to be saying, Dobbs, what are you doing that for? I'm making the team better, boys, all right? So I just feel we have too many young players. You know, we got the we got a really good prospect pool, and I think we can move some players and get some good players right now because we're obviously a contender. We've won the Stanley Cup, all right? So I think we can do it. And we have Sam Reinhardt, Aaron Eckblad coming up, some two really key pieces there. Uh, I can still grow their trade value. Griffin Reinhardt coming up too. I completely forgot about Reinhardt. So we got a lot of good defensemen coming up. And I think we can move Adam Pellick. All right, guys. So uh, look at this. We have Tyler Myers, Carl Olsner. This is for right now. Uh, Hamannick and Ekman Larson. Then we got Brennan and Hickey. All right. So we got a pretty solid decor right now. And we also have Reinhardt. We have... Um, Ekblad coming up. We also got Matt Donovan. He might turn out to be something. Calvin DeHaan and Anthony D'Angelo. You know, he's got the four and a half star red star, but he could turn out to be something pretty good. You know, you never know. And Adam Pellick's value is nice and high right now. Um, I've never used him, and that's why I want to play it safe. Once his trade value is high, which it is right now, um, I think we should play it safe and get a defenseman that we know that is going to turn out to be good. Because I don't know, sometimes with these three and a half star players, they don't turn out to be so good. So, uh, and the Green Stars are obviously nice he's probably gonna end up being like a top six defenseman maybe a top four not quite sure but he also didn't have a really good season in the hl that's why i want to trade him now and he's 20 years old and he's got a nice trade values and i already did some pre-scouting and um i went with uh i wanted to take a look at the top four defensemen but i i was going to take a look at morgan riley so i'm um, just gonna go any defenseman and then we'll go four and a half star uh, go, we'll go 26, how about that, and, uh, yeah, we'll go with the low trade value, D'Angelo Gardner, we can go for Gardner, uh, Fowler, Reinhardt, um, there's Morgan Riley right there, CC we can go for, you know, there's a bunch of options, uh, Darnell Nurse, Ryan Murray, uh, Ryan Murray wouldn't be a bad one, uh, 34 points, yeah, that wouldn't be bad, uh, nice two-way defenseman in the lineup, I don't think we have too many of those, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be bad, but uh, I think I want to go with Morgan Riley. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, I had to yawn there. But I think I want to go with Morgan Riley because he's four and a half star. Uh, he's an offensive defense, and his offensive category is absolutely outstanding right now, right? And I also want to pick up another player in this trade. I already did some uh, pre-scouting boys, so don't worry. Uh, but... Um, I want to pick up, where is he? Carter Ashens. Trade value is nice and low. 75 overall. I imagine you'll get a jump, and I'll show you why uh, in a second. He's 24 years old. 1.5 mil for two years. It's a very respectable contract. And uh, when he's 26, then we can re-sign for his big boy contract. And uh, he, has, he had 62 points in the AHL. That's why I think he'll get that jump. I mean, he'll definitely play on the... Um, the fourth line and I think it's a good piece I've seen him turn to uh, like an 83 overall sometimes and he gets pretty good sometimes so uh, I think I'm willing to take that risk I uh, just want to see any more rookie skaters um, we could go after Percy uh, uh, oh sorry it's just been a long day boys all right but I don't think that'll go through just as it is. Uh, Pelic, yeah, probably won't go through. So uh, we're going to throw in uh, all skaters. Uh, this unsigned defenseman. Uh, we'll also go... Is this guy any good? I imagine he's not. But all right, yeah, he's not getting any, any better. Uh, we'll throw in these two guys. And I also want to, let's just see if I'll go through. So, Adam Pelic, Van Horn, and Scott for Morgan Riley and Carter Ashen. Will it go through? No, it doesn't. We'll take another crack at it. Um, let's give them a. Let's give them a four. Let's give them two fours. See if that will go through. Two fours. No, another crack. Uh, let's give them a third. Uh, third round pick and all these guys from Morgan Riley and Carter Ashton. We'll go. Ah, uh, god damn it. No. So let's try do two thirds. You know, I wouldn't. I think that's all right. Two thirds for a, a very promising prospect in Morgan Riley. 
Uh, yeah, we'll have, that's our only third on pickup here. Okay, so we're gonna have to go, oh, okay, yeah, we, we use that one, all right. Um, where's our other third on pick? Oh, two thirds won't, okay, so, um, hmm. Oh, shit, you. I don't know, um, hmm. Hmm. Throw this guy, maybe? There we go. All right, so <laughs> someone they didn't want they would take on. All right, that's interesting. But we believe this transition will, con or transaction rather, will contribute to our success here in Toronto. So we're accepting your trade offer. So I think that's a really good trade because you know what you're getting with Morgan Riley. And I think that's just an awesome trade. You could probably even make the lineup. So we'll have to see. But I'll leave that to you guys if we have to make any more trades defensively. Uh, so we we'll probably have to move out someone because uh, uh, probably like either Hickey or um, what's his face TJ Brandon, right? So uh, we'll have to see about that. But I also want to make one more trade. So we're going to be going to the Los Angeles Kings and we're going after Dwight King. Yes, that is right. We're getting some more defensive players. All right, we're we're stacking up that third line: Sezikis and uh, Dwight King. And uh, I don't know who I think it's Clutterbuck there right now. So. Um, yeah, Mersak. I want to trade away Mersak, right? So I don't. Th Did he have a good year last year? Uh, no, he didn't. He had 18 points, right? Um, he has a wicked shot in this game. Yeah, I'm. He's a really good shot. Uh, the thing is. Uh, I, I don't want like a scoring for on the third line. I want a good defensive presence. And it's basically the same type of player. Three and a half stars, you know. Uh, Dwight King's a little more expensive with uh, 500000 more, basically. Uh, cap hit. But for three years, that's pretty damn good. And you can get that jump. You never know. He's an 82 overall grinder. He got 21 points, which is pretty nice. And his defensive category is really what sells me. And this is his physical, too. So... Just a really solid player, and I think he would fit really well on this team. So I think Mersak for Dwight King straight up is probably the best bet. I'll see if I can get a second, and maybe if they want anything else. Um, uh, we could trade uh, Hecky right now. No, that's not going to work out. Okay, you know what? Uh, Zykov's on the train block. Jeez. Um, hmm. Possibly get a third? Uh, I don't know if that'll go through. I don't know. Or should we risk it? Uh, I don't know. That third round pick's probably not going to turn out to be anything. So we'll get a fourth and a fifth round pick. Uh, for Mersak, Dwight King, fourth and a fifth. Will it go through, boys? Uh, it's, that's not sufficient. All right. How about just the fifth? Will it go through? God damn it. Just a bit low, eh? All right. So we'll just take off the pick. Straight up. One for one trade. Will it go through? Yes, it does. On behalf of the Los Angeles Kings organization, I accept your trade off. We will see you on the ice. I think it's just better for our team. You know, I like the more defensive players on the third line anyway. And I personally think that was just a good trade all in all. So uh, we have also freed up some cap space here. Uh, what I want to do is also trade Grabner in this episode. We're making big moves, boys. We're making big moves. Um... Now, I want to trade Grabner. I was looking at New York, all right? So, we'll go to the Ranger. Oh, not New Jersey. Um, Chris Kreider is who I was looking at. Now, I don't think I'd play him on the third line. We could, but I'm hoping for to turn it to that second line, you know, power forward. Kind of like the, um, what's his name? Uh, Landis got 2.0. He got 39 points. I'm not quite sure if he played like top line minutes or anything. Uh, but he's got de he's got pretty good defense. You know, he's got decent offensive awareness, I guess. But um, he's a pretty good defensive presence, and he's got that shot right. So I think Cryer's definitely gonna jump. And if we doesn't turn out to be anything good next year, we could easily trade this guy 2.6 million uh, for two years, right? So if he turns out to be a boss, he doesn't have a good season. We could play him in a defensive role and retrade him. You know, get him something, get something back. And I think. Grabner, uh, I really liked Grabner. He got 62 points, but I think he's just going to be on the decline. And I really want to sign Patrick Kane. I want to go after Patty Kane, boys, all right? So he's got a lot of trade value to Patrick Kane. We can also trade him for some more prospects or even some depth, you know? Uh, we got a lot of options because we're basically bumping up the trade value. Grabner's trade value is nothing compared to Patrick Kane's, and we're not really losing anything. So I really like that trade for Grabner, for, uh, Grabner and Kreider. Now, the thing is, I don't know uh, if we probably could get something better. 
Um, <laughs> we could get a first round pick. Now, that's pretty low trade value. But the thing is, um, I think I want to trade, uh, what's it, Clutterbuck too, right? So, we can sign another guy in free agency. He's declining $2.7 million. It's just a little too much for my liking for Clutterbuck. Uh, he's a pretty good player, but I just, I just see him getting worse, right? But he was pretty good last year, and I don't know if it's worth it for the cap hit. I think I can get some better players for that. Maybe even Carter Ashton, uh, Ashton can take his place. We could sign another player, and uh, yeah, I think we just can get a better deal all in all. So I think this is a pretty good return, you know? Uh, Grabner for Kreider is definitely covered, you know, uh, Grabner has a little bit more trade value, and we also get the first round pick, I think that just evens out, I think that's a pretty good trade, honestly, boys, and um, I think we're going to go through with it, so Michael Grabner for and Clutterbuck for Chris Kreider and a first round pick, will it go through, uh, do I want to do, uh, I'm just, I'm contemplating now, um, uh, Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it. Let's do it. We're not going to get anything else. Kreider and a first for Grabner and Clutterbuck. We'll go through. Yes, it does. I'm happy to accept this proposal on the behalf of the New York Rangers. We consider it a done deal. So it was a good it was a good trade, you know. I'm loading up on those more power forward type of players while signing a superstar. So we got the cap, boys. We're, I'm making some good moves, honestly. And, uh, yeah, Patty Kane for sure. We're definitely going after Patrick Kane. And, uh... Yeah, eight years is a bit much. I want to give him five, and I'm going to give him $8.3 million. We'll give him 8.32, all right? Uh, other teams interested in Boston, 8.3 for five years is pretty fucking good for Patrick Kane. Uh, he had a good, I think he had a good season, but you know what, you, what you're getting with Patty Kane? And if he turns out to be a bust, which I highly, highly doubt, we can trade him for like a bunch of first round picks, you know, reload on some picks for rebuilding, get some depth, whatever, man. We can get a ton with this guy. So, 8.3 for five years. Hopefully, he signs for that. That would leave us with 8, uh, 9, 10, 11. That leaves, a, uh, leaves us with around 3 mil uh, to work with. And I think we got the defense covered. So, I'm looking more or less at fourth liners. And uh, let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Eric Condra. Let's see. 1 million. Uh, basically, the same type of player. Um, Maxime Lapierre, maybe. Uh, Redmond. Uh, just taking a look here, boys. Just seeing what I can get. Oh, excuse me. Um, ooh, we could get Chris Kelly. That's a good pickup. Uh, oh, man. It's been a long day. Uh, Chris Kelly. Hmm. 34 years old. 21 points. Who would we have? Okay, so we have Nelson. Uh, I don't think he has room on the team. Uh, we could sign him just for the hell of it, but I just want to see how many players we have under contract. 41. All right, so we got some room. Uh, even if we don't, we can just trade him, you know, at the trade deadline. Uh, sure, a team would pick him up. Any goalies? Oh, we got Michael Hutchinson. That's pretty good. Uh, Pascal. Any young goalies? Nah. You know what? We'll sign this back of Hutchinson. It's worth a shot. Oh, he wants a... Okay, two-way. No. Yeah, he's classified as a backup. All right, now that one we won't go off. We'll steer clear of that. Uh, how about Pascal? Has he had a good year? Um, no, nah, not the greatest. Uh, Darcy Kemper. This guy's been playing pretty well. Um, in the real NHL, rather. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's been playing pretty good down there too. Um. No teams are interested. Uh, maybe I want to sign Kemper. How much does he want? Uh, he wants a one-way two, eh? Jeez. Uh, or I can give him a two-way. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll give him a two-way at one year. Probably accept that. Uh, what else do you want? Let's sign some. Okay, so we got Patrick Kane, uh, Jimmy Lodge, JC Lippin. They look so. Yeah, we'll sign him. Sure, we'll give him a deal. Uh, JC Lippin. He might turn out to be something three-year deal. Uh, get some more forward prospects. Joel Colburn wouldn't be a bad one. Uh, 15, yeah, that wouldn't be bad at all either. Uh, Conan, J. Mar we could probably get him for a two-way, to be honest, can we? Uh, yeah, geez. Um, let's see. I wouldn't be opposed to, okay, he wants a bit there. Um, hmm. 
could give him a one way. Uh, you know what? I think we got enough. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll try some. If not, whatever. No picks required. We'll just try at least. Uh, I just don't think you crap uh crap. What the fuck? Crack the uh, lineup. But uh, let's see if there's any decent other uh, other prospects. Uh, Stephenson. He's not bad. Um, and he probably won't get too much better. Uh, Falk. How much does Falk want? I don't know. Uh, two million. Yeah, that's too much for my liking. Uh, Taylor back. Ooh, this guy's not bad. Uh, how much does he want? Uh, yeah, we'll try to sign him. Why not? Taylor back. Boom, there it is. You know, he could turn it to be something. Uh, let's see this guy. Thompson. Nah. Uh, Rask. Uh, Jordan Nolan. Um. Ah. Uh, I think we got refined for the fourth line. Yeah, I'm not just gonna sign people to sign them like for no reason. Uh, we got uh, Mike Mikal Jordan, uh, 31 points. Yeah, he's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give him one year. There we go. Um. And I'm just trying to think. Do I want to sign him? Else, well, might as well spend the cap if we got it right. So, um. Just trying to think. I think we're good. Uh, Robert Bertuzzo. Nah, not a big fan. Uh, DaCosta. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll advance the next day, see who we got signed, and yeah, hopefully we land Patrick Kane. That'll be huge if we get Patty. Uh, come on, man. Uh, so JC Lippin signs. Patrick Kane, man. Please sign. Please sign with my team. Come on. Um, okay, so Colburn is accepted, but we don't know just yet. Uh, we got Jordan. Uh, Dark Kemper um, uh, declines. It doesn't have any room. And Beck goes with another team. So, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, this is down 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I think we should sign maybe one more player just in case. But, um... Oh, Chris Kelly. Yeah, we'll sign Chris Kelly just in case, you know. You never know. Uh, we'll give it one year at 1.5 million. There we... Yeah, we'll give him one year at 1.5. Whatever. A uh, good defensive player. And if Car Ration doesn't turn... Oh, and we land Patrick Kane. That's huge. I was extremely happy to accept your offer. Your cash offer is the most generous. I had to overpay just to make sure that we got him. And we got Patrick fucking Kane. Holy shit, boys. Uh, we still got 3.9 million. Uh, we could spend it, but I kind of want a little bit of cap to work with, and I don't think we need anyone else, to be honest. So, I think we're fine just how we are, and uh, I just want to see how Hodginson did last year. Uh, he did alright. Um, yeah, I think we're good, boys. Alright, so... I think that's it for the uh, signings. Uh, defensively, I think we're good. Just having another look, you know? Uh, Roosevelt, no Cleary. Uh, Teddy Peckman. Um, yeah, I think we're good. So I think that's it for the free agency, guys. Uh, so, uh, okay, so the least matched uh, Colbert. I thought, I'm pretty sure that was going to happen. Uh, I was extremely... So we got Chris Kelly on the team. And uh, how much do we have to work with? 2.6 with 45 roster spots. So I'll uh, just take a look at the um, young ends really quickly. See if there's anyone decent, worthwhile picking up. Blacker, don't need more defense. Uh, Bork, uh, he's not that bad, but uh, I don't uh, feel the need to sign him. Uh, ch -ch -ch, anyone else decent? Well, what's not bad? Um. Ch -ch -ch. <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. I think we're good. Yeah, we're fine. All right, so we are going to, uh, yeah, we'll get up to just the start of the season. Take a look at our lineups. I'll let you guys decide who goes where and all that. See who jumped, who didn't. Get, uh, get all the progress reports, all that good stuff. Or not the progress, well, the whatever. Uh, the I guess just the progress over the season, I guess you could say. So yeah, uh, do, 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 do. come on, Sim. 
But yeah, I just like a little bit of cap to work with. You know, I don't want to spend it all in case we make like a trade at the trade deadline. I just want to have some flexibility. And we could trade contracts like Chris Kelly pretty easy for like a third round pick, fourth round pick, whatever. Uh, if he's not fitting on the team, just uh, just some insurance back there. It's not a big deal. It's just, um, it's whatever, you know. It's just a good defensive player on that fourth line, you know. Ah, uh, do, do, do. Man, the slimming so slow. Let's go. I want to see who, uh... I want to see who improves and who doesn't, you know. Um, the the progression's really weird in this game. Uh, I've had some times in my GM modes where um, I win the cup like back to back, right? And some players just decline for no reason whatsoever. And they have a good season, you know. Sometimes they're like plus 20, you know. They got, uh, you know, a point every two games or something like that. And they just decline or get red star potential. It makes no sense, so... Oh, uh, I'll be interested. I'm uh, eager to see what is uh, up here. And yes, I want to be uh, careful in the drafting this year because we're we have that first round pick from um, New York, and you never know with New York, right? So uh, we'll just have to see. But let's see uh, who jumped and who didn't. All right. So first line. Wow, that first line is fucking amazing. John Tavares, Gabriel Landeskog, and Patrick Kane. Really, really good first line. Uh, second line, we got Sezikis. Uh, Yakubov got up to an 87, which is good. I'm still playing on the second line, though. And Okposo stayed at an 84. Kreider jumped to an 85. Wow, man, that's pretty damn solid. So Kreider, he's a... He looks, he looks like a stud, so I might just go, like, Kreider and then Okpozo. And damn, look at Dwight King. Jeez. Holy shit, man. 84. Oh, man, that is definitely what I wanted. Wow, what a stud for the third line. That was really good pickup. Imagine that fourth line, man. That's such a good defensive fourth or third line. Wow, man. And Arposa brings the scoring a bit. Uh, Ashton got through a 77. That's pretty solid. Uh, it does have the greatest defense, but I think I'll let him play on the fourth line. He's fourth line eligible. Why not? Uh, Chris Kelly's playing the center. I think I'm going to put Nelson in there just for the hell of it. Uh, but that's a pretty solid depth. Um, uh, I guess line. And uh, yeah, Matt Martin, he got up a bit too. 79. Jeez, man. Wow, we got some really good depth this year. I'm not going to lie. Our team looks really nice. So, um, it looks like our defenseman... Did, oh, I think Hamannick might have got a jump. I think he was like an A2 or something. So, Hamannick's there. Um, but here, here's what I want to talk about. I want to see uh, where Morgan Riley is right now. Um, Morgan Riley, what did he get to? A4. See, top six defenseman. I might play him on the top. Wow, man. He jumped a lot. See what I'm saying, though? You got to be careful with these types of trades. And we got a guaranteed top six defenseman. Uh, but the thing I want to do is, um, where's Hickey? So I want to scratch Hickey because Brennan also puts up points too, which I really like. But we could put in Morgan Riley, right? So we could go like Tyler Myers and then Ekman. Oh, no. We can go Ekman, Larson, then Osner and Riley. And then we can go Brennan and Hamnick. I'd really, really like that defensive four. And then uh, goalies, I imagine they didn't get any better. Yeah, Semin Varlamov went down. He wasn't the greatest pickup at A, but it's whatever. And we got Eddie Lack, the 86 overall goaltender, all right? So our team's looking really solid, man. I really like our chances this year. Um, I think I'm just going to scratch. Uh, well, I could put in Nelson, but I'll leave that up to you guys. Who should I leave in? Should I leave in uh, Kelly or should I bring in uh, Brock Nelson and play the young in? You know, I think we should play Nelson, but our team looks really good from head to toe. So once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know some line suggestions. You know, should I change it the way it is? Should I keep it? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. I love to hear what you have to think. So once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys, for more NHL 14 GM mode commentaries. That is right. Good. All this attention got me hyped. Cut the lights. Baby, this ain't only for the night. Baby, this is life. Uh, this is where I'm taking flight and never touching down. Said it, now they know I meant it when I say we run the town.